Hey, Craig Cottle from Nature Reliance School, gas instructor with DansDepot.com. We get asked often um, about the leather work that we do because we'll have any number of things that we utilize in our videos and in our classes where we have some pieces that we've made from leather. So I thought I'd take an opportunity to talk about that. Uh, it's one of these skills and crafts that you can develop, uh, particularly before you need it, kind of survival training. Uh, and it helps you get in tune with whatever it is that you're doing. Anytime you get more in tune with everything around you, including nature, and if you're a hunter, the, the animals that you take and you can utilize as much as you can, you're doing a good thing. So today we're going to talk about some leatherworking basics. One of the things that uh, a lot of people see in my videos that they remark about is this leather pouch. It's a Possible's bag that was made by my dad. I made him one and he made me one and then we traded kind of thing. Um, but that's one good option for you if you want to make something such as that. Uh, we had a rainy day on a camping trip that we are currently on right now for about six, seven days and I made this uh, small leather pouch and what I'm going to do with this pouch is use it as a fire kit. Going to have all the fire materials tender and even a ferro rod, flint and steel and stuff of that nature that I'm going to keep in this so I know that it's all together. And this is real easy to make so first thing you want to do is take a look at the tools so I'm going to show you the tools up close and then we'll talk about some methods on how to utilize them. So there's not a lot of tools that you'll need. If you're going to work in leather like this it's real soft and pliable. All you really need to make holes is a leather awl and this could be something as simple as a nail or uh, Aboriginal cultures would use bone to poke holes in leather that was real soft. If you have leather that's uh, thicker, uh, such as this pig skin, uh, basically you're going to need some kind of punch to, to get down through there. And you could use the same awl and drive it through with a hammer. Uh, what I use are these leather punches like this because it makes a lot of holes in it at one time. So basically you're just going to drive this through like four little small chisels. Outside of that, really all you need is some thread. This is basically fake sinew like uh, deer sinew or any type of ligament sinew that you utilize to, to sew your leather together. So this is real simple and all this that I've got here is it's not more than $10 or $15 altogether. So that's a real simple way to get started on your leather working. So the real uh, simple methodology for putting holes in something like this is to take that chisel and put it on the leather itself and just put your holes through it. So really all you're doing is repeatedly doing that over and over. And on this particular chisel, I have the ability to make four. They make these up to like 16 down to one or two. So you can put as many holes in there as you want. This kind of stuff is real useful to making knife sheaths and stuff that's gonna to have to hold a mold. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna wet this and get it really hot and mold it around the knife that you're making and then sew it together. Uh, stuff such as this, this soft, this soft leather here, this is a buffalo hide right here that I traded for many years ago. It's real simple. Again, all I did on this stitch was turn it inside out. Just put a bunch of holes along the edge, sewed it together on both sides, and then I've got a nice little pocket. And I took some deer antler from a deer that I was fortunate enough to get years ago and, and uh, made a little button on it right here. So this is real cool. I mean, uh, this stuff has a lot of meaning to you too. You'll keep up with it just because it's something you've handmade. You can take a lot of energy into putting, uh, putting this stuff together or not, take your time. Usually I utilize this stuff around campfires uh, to work on leather work or during winter time when there's uh, not a lot going on. So to work on leather inside. Uh, Aboriginal cultures would do the same thing. They would spend their downtime in rainy weather and stuff working on crafts and stuff of this nature. So there you have it. That's some basics for leather working. If you have any questions, just feel free to uh, hit us up on the YouTube channel here or send me an email, and I'll be happy to help you any way that I can. Till next time, I hope to see you on or off the trail.